This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net. Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Hello, Dangerlings. It's Dan here. Now, before we get into this week's episode, just got a couple of bits of business for you. You might have heard a new bumper at the start of this show, and that is because we have just joined the Danger Entertainment Network. What is the Danger Entertainment Network? Well, it's a collection of podcasts about gaming, movies, all kinds of nerdy goodness who are dedicated to try and help each other, uh, promote each other's shows, and help you find new podcasts that you might be interested in. So what does that mean for us? Well, it's not really going to change the content of our show very much. You're going to hear that bumper at the start, and at the end of the episode, there's going to be a trailer for one of the other shows on the network. Uh, And likewise, if you listen to any of the other Danger Entertainment shows, you're probably going to hear an advert for our podcast at some point along the way on those as well. And hey, if you are a listener from one of those other podcasts who has just found us and just joined us, welcome. We hope you're going to have a really good time with us. Uh, We've also joined on with rpgcast.com who are a catalogue of really good uh, actual play podcasts covering D&D, Pathfinder, all kinds of stuff there. So if you're looking for other actual play podcasts, go there, have a little look, you'll find something you like, especially if you want something with female players or LGBTQ players as well. They've got some great listings on there in those categories. So with that in mind, old friends, new friends, Let's have an adventure. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. There is no mechanism to open the door, save for the chime of opening. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we just head to the most dangerous fucking place. <laughs> and we're all just pissing about us straight away. Six, One of your family will never leave this city. So badass. I'd say left. I'd, I'd say right. I'd say left. I'd say right. Boom. They are coming. The adventure continues now. Hi! Yeah, doodly bop bop. Who was that? Who, what voice was that? What? What's this voice? Who is she? Who is this emerging from beneath Whoa, the door? Whoa, who is that? Who did that? What Lo is that? Wait, who? A wild Rachel Henley appeared. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> 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 Rachel and she Henley. deafened us all. It's too early. It's too Do you want to introduce yourself? Hello. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, I can introduce myself. Um, I, I've been asked to come here today um, by you lovely people. Thank you. <laughs> I was, I was going to wonder who you were going to say there, but yeah, by right. the Women's Institute. <laughs> uh, to shut you down. Yeah, I've been sent by the Tory party to just check that um, everything's sort of above board here because um, they've got time for that sort of thing at the moment. I mean, yes. um, if you do vote Tory and you listen, you can still listen, it's fine. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? If, yeah. It's happened before, Rachel, I mean... <laughs> We're recording this in the past. We don't have a government anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to the water wars. Uh, Viva revolution! Yeah, we're, we're waking waking up up to time. The, the apocalyptic wasteland that uh, that is England. We've uh, we've missed something, haven't we? What's that? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Danger Club podcast. Golden, golden. You have been asking us when are we going to have uh, guest stars on the show. Welcome, Rachel Henley, Hi. to the yeah. show. Huzzah. How's that going to work out? We'll find out. Um, something very. <laughs> exciting uh, will happen um, yeah we're, we're, we're back it's weird it's not a hiatus uh, for you guys it's been one week uh, since the last episode but because we recorded uh, a lot of uh, episodes to get us through uh, our busy work schedule it's been a little while since we've been in the studio uh, putting this stuff together so does everyone remember uh, this game that we're playing uh, and their characters dominoes right top top yes. dominoes. Yes. Starfinder. Oh, no, top Starfinder. I am Starfinder. a bold knight you're a bold um, yep yep oh we're playing chess oh great yeah, yeah. <laughs> sweet Velda is going to be first yes. into combat melee attacks yep absolutely going, going in with my uh, with my fists I'm some now. sort of ninja buddhist priest or something wasn't it? something like that is it was, that what you're doing is yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny, but I didn't. I mean, I signed up well, for Tiddlywinks, so uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm very lost right now. Yeah. I can't believe you just gave away well, the name well, of your character. I mean, <laughs> Ross, yeah. Ross is here, so uh, he's always down with a bit of Tiddlywinks, aren't you, Ross? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's tiddled a few winks in his time. Oh, yeah. He's winked a few tiddles as well. I do. Dan, do you want to explain to the Dangerlings how we know Rachel Henley? Yes, or we Rachel do. Rachel Henley, do you want to speak? Do you want to tell every, the Dangerlings at home what? How you know us? Well, um, we met, what, like seven 
years ago. Yeah, it's a while. Around. On a misty night. <laughs> oh, I wish it was a misty night. It's a shit tourist attraction. <laughs> 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 the exact opposite. It's in a smelly basement yeah, in yeah, London yeah. Bridge. Oh. Um, it was called a misty night, though. The yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. That was my character back then. Isn't misty um, night a character from... Uh, Pokemon. Shit. Come on, Colin. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold I can on. do this. I can do this. Cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Yeah. Luke Cage. Yeah. 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 Great character. Right. Yeah. Good tangent. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, and we all became pals. And um, I've been saying for approximately five years, I'm going to come play with you guys yep. and <laughs> never do it. And then yeah. Dan got in touch a couple of months ago and was like, "We're looking for a guest," and I was like, "Me? Pick me. Pick me." Um, but I don't know anything. So well, apologies. <laughs> we thought because you've been saying for years now. I've been saying, "Oh, come and teach me this game. I want to learn to play this game." So I thought, what better way to learn this game than live on air with <laughs> yeah. uh, hundreds of people listening <laughs> yeah. to it? Yeah. Literally the first time she's ever seen a character sheet this morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, deep end. Yeah. What deep better? End. What better? Um, like that way than a. Uh, Northerner with a small iota of intelligence just sort of <laughs> oh, bumbling their way through with some kind of... I mean, of, we barely know the game as well, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I barely fine. know my own name. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you listen to last week's episode, it took us about half an hour to decide which door to go oh, through. Oh, so sorry about, about that, listeners. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, we, we, we all listen to it back and we're just shouting, just pick a door. Pick a door, like which door is it? Which door? Should have oh, gone well, left, should have gone left, should have gone left. No, yeah. right, mate. Right. No, we should have definitely gone left. Yeah, thank you. Team Let's right. not bring Team it up left. again. Yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not having this, you know. Literally there arguing is, about left or there right. There are yeah. going to be, uh, there are gonna what be about plenty of decisions like that to be made um, down here. In Simple the decisions, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so a, uh, a couple of. Uh, couple of points of order little rules things that have popped up since the last one we're not going to stick on them for ages but um uh reminder that fulton does not need to eat for like a month because <laughs> yep. of all of that elven red film fulton is still twice his regular size yeah um Oompa, I was looking at because I've been looking over all your character sheets um, <laughs> since we've uh, while well, we've been off, or looking at uh, the stuff we have of them. Um, I realised that uh, the M, yeah, yeah, you know, you've been saying uh, you've been saying you get the old uh, you get the old longsword, the old broadsword out. Yeah, the old nine ring. I forgot you picked up. You did actually pick up a new sword um, back in Ilsurian. You got your masterwork longsword. So there is, yeah, yeah. There is actually now a definition between the old sword and the longsword. The old sword <laughs> might not actually be the old sword in this case. <laughs> so you need to remember which one you're using. Shit. So I can't just say the old sword. You could say the old sword. Well, the, the old you could, but you the nine ring the old sword now. So I could say the old the new old nine ring longsword. Yeah, you could say the old new. <laughs> the old new. So confusing for everyone. I'm like, what? <laughs> So I've got the old Nyan ring, I've got the old long sword, and the old new long sword. And the hunger monger. The old hunger monger. Munger. Shit, I didn't see the old hunger <laughs> Damn it. So uh, like, like a sort of Britpop reunion. Sort of thing. <laughs> it's the old new, but I get you got again. the long sword, you got this, they got it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> from that, we were big in the 90s, you know what I mean? Fucking like, 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 yeah, our fucking kids used to like speak sword. about that, do you know what I mean? And I was just like, oh, fucking, I was just getting into a bit of a Gallagher thing. Let's not do that, Colin, all right? <laughs> Cheers. What are you saying okay. then? Sorry. <laughs> it's all about the old new, mate. <laughs> the old new, yeah. The old new. Get your nine rings out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I love it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah. It's warm, isn't it? It's warm in here. It's warm. It's warm. Is it warm? Is it warm? Oh, let's 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 revel in this relative coolness in here until we get into. It. Remember what this place was like in the summertime. Oh yeah. This was uh, yeah. 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 This was in a funky summertime. room in the summer. Yeah, I've only had a light talking today, so we're all right. <laughs> oh my God, that's all <laughs> I drank uh, this little flowery bottle out, and I thought he was like. I got it into for Christmas. Flower essences. <laughs> yeah, it was hyacinth. <laughs> Quick spot like, of potpourri. What are you taking, drunk? It's ten a.m. <laughs> Those of you talcum powder all day, yeah. all night. Those of you dangerlings that are, uh, are friends with us or followers on Facebook, uh, you will have maybe have seen the, the video that we took in the summer. <laughs> that way, just a little live record, followed around, got a little tiny little sound bite, some more the da danger club. And then Drum just finished the video by talking up all of his body in a, in a <laughs> thing out of white uh, out of nowhere. And all of us are just like, what? I'm it pretty, was a beautiful thing. I'm pretty really sure that he. Nice, yeah. I'm pretty sure he, he did it in the middle of Comic Con as well. Didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. 
Yeah, the Shania chafing there was, was terrible. terrible. I've seen, yeah. Terrible. Fact, we, you did actually Forgot to wear chafing, pants. Didn't you? Yeah. 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 Comic-Con, it's it a Comic-Con, peeps. It was totally, totally in character at Comic-Con, I think, because if you appear in a cloud of dust as Shania, you're just brushing off the grave dirt. Right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you've been underground for a while. You're covered in dust. It makes, True it makes that. sense. Yeah, 100 years underground. I might, I might put a link in the show notes to the... Uh, uh, to the talking video so get that in your mind get that image of Drummond <laughs> talking himself over our recording studio in your mind and let's have an adventure <laughs> so we're jumping right back into the Godsmouth ossuary um, so you have spent some time in the very first room of it debating uh, whether to go left or to go right or to go straight on uh, you have with you um, the chime of Phrasma, which can open uh, the seals that you'll find along the way. So some of the doors are sealed with uh, this magical symbol. You have a chime that can open it, but it only has five charges, um, and you need one to get out, uh, possibly. There may be other ways out, you've been told, but you don't know that for sure. You know, the only sure way out uses one of the chimes. You've now used one of your five to open the door on the right, uh, and off in the distance, you have just heard a boom, boom. Sounds a lot like a police siren. That was the sound of the police. That <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. The sound of the police. <laughs> boom, boom. What's the sound of the beast? <laughs> <laughs> Stand clear. Oh, no, I won't do it. Just all those dwarves in Moria were just getting arrested in a riot van. That's what they're calling <laughs> Drums in the deep. Right. Get in the back hey. of a van, mate. Go on, get in the back of a van. It's an offensive weapon, that is. Get in a van. <laughs> uh, so, uh... The door slides open, um, and standing in front of you is a room, a dark room. Now remember, I want to give you a little idea about uh, light sources while we're in here. Uh, most of you have dark vision. Everyone except um, MZ um, has dark vision. M has low light vision, so you can see better than a human can, uh, but not very well. The torch that you have sheds light in around a 20-foot area. Okay. Um, you can see twice as far as that, so you've got about a, you can see about forty feet M, and then it just disappears into the darkness. Uh, those of you with um, those of you with low light vision, you can see sixty feet with your dark, oh, dark vision rather. You can see sixty feet with your dark vision, and then you have got the twenty feet from the light as well as that. So you've got eighty feet of range, but some of these corridors are going to be bigger than that. So there are uh, so it doesn't mean you can see everything um, all the time. Just, there's still a limit to how far you can see through the dark. Uh, but this room, uh, those of you with, uh, all of you in fact, can see because this is not a very large room. Um, the room stretches away uh, a little way uh, and then there is a, a stone wall. It appears to be a dead end. However, in the room is a large statue. It is made uh, of stone. It is a statue of a long tail feather, seemingly from a bird, uh, at the very top of which there is an eye that seems to be staring out across the room. The whole room is covered in a very thick layer of dust and there are cobwebs hanging from the uh, the ceilings. Um, the uh, As you shine the torch out, the statue seems to shimmer ever so slightly with sort of greenish iridescence. You can see there are a lot of carvings on the back wall um, and the wall is not entirely even, but there doesn't seem to be a way on from here. What? would you all like to do? Okay, so, <clears throat> looks like pretty untouched here. Uh, Velda, I assume you know what to do with that statue there. Um, it looks like it maybe wants yep. to shake a tail feather, you know? That's right. maybe what we should do, shake the tail feather. That was my first thought. Right. Right. That, was my that was my first thought. You know what, let's all stand where we are hey. and shake our tail feathers. See okay, let's do I'm this open. right I'm now. Open. I'm open. I'm a new shake a tail feather. Shake a tail feather? We all shake. We all we, shake. We all shake. Everybody, please make a shake a tail feather check. <laughs> No, oh, my, mine's well, plus ten, 10 to that. I would have done them. Well, well, I've got a sash. I've done they, that. While well, they're shaking their tail feathers, can I cast detect magic, please? You can. The statue. I, I have a feeling that um, uh, that you're you're still wearing the Avarician scarf uh, silk sash, aren't you, Caragor? Aye. So you would have got a bonus to shaking your tail. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> it wouldn't have helped. Uh, uh, you detect magic. Uh, there is um, there is no there is a faint uh, sense uh, of magic in the whole um, around the whole place uh, particularly of necromantic magic um, in uh, come just sort of seem to be seeping from the stones around uh, but there's no specific magic um, coming from the room no, I, no, no specific magic all right thanks for that though um, I'm gonna just take a, a very careful look scan around the room looking specifically for 
uh, traps, okay. secret doors, little cracks, little things that drop underneath your feet because like, oh, there's all this dust everywhere. So. And uh, Shania would like to study the statue without touching it to look and see if there's anything okay. that you can press, touch that might open something. Be very careful. All right. Careful. What's your perception, Caragor? My perception is um, plus can, five. Can I assist? Okay. Uh, not on this one, no, because it's okay. such a trap. You can search on your own. Uh, okay. If you like to, and that's a perception check from Shania on the statue. Nineteen. A nineteen. Okay. Um, so I can Caragor. actually reach the dice tray this week, Dangerlings. Whoa. Uh, fifteen. I forgot what my thing is. Oh yeah, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, so uh, you find a few things. You find no evidence of traps. Um, Shania, you find nothing about the statue that seems unusual. Okay. Um, Caragor, you find a. Um, uh, you find some carvings in the wall of what appears to be um, several runes. Um, you also see there's an inscription, but it's in a language that you don't understand um, unless you speak ancient Thalassian. <laughs> um, can I... Uh, well, sorry, can, can Velda make... He's going to look at the statue and make a knowledge history check? Would that be a valid yeah, check? Uh, Just to think if there's any... You can make a knowledge history um, or you can make a linguistics um, and Arcana might tell you something as well. Uh, but might not tell you everything. Okay. Um, I shall try... Well, I suppose I could try linguistics first. Oh, that is a natural 20, so that's 28. Very good. You are able that's to... That's very good, James. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Uh, <laughs> she explain, Rachel's just here to be our hype woman. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's got Go pom-poms. <laughs> yeah. So sick. <laughs> Uh, right, so you uh, you managed to um, translate the uh, the text and identify the runes uh, with that role. So the text, um, when translated, reads: "When virtue is restored and six becomes seven, the path of blood shall open." Uh, and looking at the runes carved onto the um, carved onto the walls, you realise that there are six runes carved there, uh, and they represent um, the uh, they represent the six uh, six of the seven um, sins or virtues of ancient Thalassian. So, uh, wrath, pride, sloth, etc. Um, the um, uh, one of the uh, one of the runes appears to be missing. The rune of wrath. Uh, is currently not there, and there is a, a niche, a niche in the um, hole. In the don't look at me like that. <laughs> no, this is hilarious. Was... In a previous campaign, the, Dan said the word niche, and he said niche, and then for about like six <laughs> games afterwards, we were, what were we calling it the windy niche. <laughs> windy. Yeah. 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 Remember the windy yeah. niche yeah, for ages. Niche. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought we'd moved on from that. <laughs> <laughs> no one forgets the windy niche. There's an indentation in the wall. Um, the windy quiche, where um, where one of the runes appears to be missing. Um, just as you do that, you hear a click from the statue. Uh, as M, as you're um, as you're looking around the statue, you find a, a small stone switch on the back, uh, which you pull and pull out a small drawer um, mm. hidden in the back of the statue, in which is lying uh, a coloured feather. Team, come and look at this. I found a coloured feather. <gasps> Ooh, yes. the inscription is fab. What is it? The inscription, that, the inscription that um, sorry, James just read, <coughs> Vel Velda. Um, mm -hmm. Was that the one that I was looking at? Uh, yeah, you were looking at it, but you couldn't understand it. Yeah, right. it was translated. So I basically came up behind you and was like, "Yeah, I know." Mm. Literally, Carol turns around, take a breath to ask everyone over, and Velda's just there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Ooh, right. very interesting. These cool. things. What's that feather all about, then? Em? I don't know. I haven't touched it yet. I don't want to touch it yet. Do you know maybe is it the missing room. Maybe we put that. Is it? Uh, I look at the uh, feathers on the bird. Mm. Is there anyone missing? No. Okay. Can I, can I, well, it, it, I think it's just a statue of a it's feather. It's a statue of a feather. Oh, um, oh, okay. Can I uh, make a knowledge arcana check, mm -hmm. please? Um, what to just, do what? Just about the, the feather and whether or not I recognise the icon, like, like iconography of this <coughs> or something like that. Sure. It'll be a spellcraft check. Spellcraft check. Okay. To understand what the feather uh, is. That is... Uh, so... You scan it with a detect magic, 17. Which, had been, which it had been shielded from while it was in the thing. You realise the feather is magical, uh, mm. and you identify it as a bird feather token. So it, can, it is a one-use magical item, yeah. which creates a, uh, a magical bird uh, that can deliver a small written message unerringly to uh, yeah, to anywhere you like. Mm. So this is useful to us, yeah? Yes, it'd be quite useful. I mean but it's not going to get out of this room. 
Because I was thinking that we put the feather in the in the hole, but maybe that oh, is no. not what's wrong. No, no, no. This well, is um, this is for writing a message. Yeah, I, I, I see. Do, I know we need something else. So I think what's missing, yeah. I think Zelda ascertained it was the wrath rune. Uh, I don't okay. think that's not very wrathful, is it? With bird feather talking. I suppose is, not. Are we are we supposed to do something wrathful then to unlock this? I go over and I shout at it. <laughs> you yell at the wall. Let's not. Caragor, Caragor, Caragor. Let's not make too much noise in here. Caragor's oh, voice kind of echoes around the room. I'll, oh, I'll way, probably um, do that as a post-production <laughs> effect. Like, like, there's no point in you trying <laughs> to need a soundbite for to do that. Fucking actors, man! Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do everything. I'll do everything. So, um, so uh, 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 Velda's going to address the group. Um, just, just so you know, I did do when I detected magic. Um, there is a vague sense of necromancy around this whole place. Ooh. So do be on guard. I feel um, like that will be in the, the whole rest of these catacombs. I you think know? so. Yes. Wait, I mean, it is literally obstacle. it is literally seeping from the stone. So yeah. Yeah. It's made entirely of, of death. death, this place, and that's what the, the place is for, isn't yes, it? So yes. that sort of makes Indeed. sense. Um, yeah. do, do you want me to hold on to that feather? or? So I'm Yeah, I think that would be good. So yes, we've got to right, do right, something right. raffle. I punch the wall. <laughs> punch the wall. Uh, the wall... Does not move. I'm out of ideas. Fal- Fulton <laughs> runs at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the- Imagine if that was the solution. That he goes had straight through and goes to Hogwarts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to be the worst wizard. Oh. <laughs> You're a shithead, Fulton. <laughs> Bloated Fulton just bounces off the wall. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm out of ideas, Velda. Um, how are we going to get this rune into here? Hmm. Is there something maybe in another room? Oh, no, because then we've got to spend charges of the thing to get back out and into... Yeah. You're going to have to go back. You don't have to use one to get back out through the door you've just come no, through. That no, but we'll open. Open. So, no, but if we want to open another door... If you want to yeah, open another door, exactly, yeah, yeah. you'll need to use a charm. Oh, we're going back to the left or right thing, are no, we? No, we're not, <laughs> never going back there, ever. I've <laughs> made a promise to myself. Well, I'm we have hey. to. We have to choose a left or right. No. We have, and yeah. we're here, and there's probably a secret door, and there's probably something to do with putting the rune in there to progress further. But we need a rune. Yeah, where, where will we find I, I, such I a can't. thing? Um, the rune shop. So it's not one here. So this <laughs> it's just the 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 it's just the statue. Yeah, it's nothing like uh, it is just the statue. Yes, but you're not sure what the statue is of. Hmm. A knowledge religion check to understand. And bit, a bit out of the way. Can um, I make a knowledge you? religion? Yeah. Check? You can. Yes. Can I have a ponder? So I'll, I'll let Ooh, do uh, Yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, that would be twenty one. Twenty one, doing very well on that. Yeah, this yeah. is a shrine to the. Uh, this is a shrine to the peacock spirit, uh, oh. which was a god of mind, body, and soul, worshipped in ancient Thalassian. Uh, it uh, worship of it died out um, when the empire fell, so it's uh, it's very old. Yes, so uh, the the peacock god. Not sure what. Oh, the god of peas and ah. cocks. Yeah, maybe well, no, it's a type of bird. Mind, oh, body, okay. and soul. Yeah. I think that- I know what to do. Oh, Fulton no. pulls out a gold piece and puts it by its foot <laughs> or by the foot of the statue. The, the foot of the statue. Yeah. Okay, you have made an ah. offering to the peacock spirit. Now Nothing I, happens. I ah. also know what to do. <laughs> and Velda picks up the gold piece. <laughs> 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 and thus the balance is restored. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mind, mind, body and spirit. Things. Is, it, is it was it just the Thal- Thalassian god of Instagram memes? And, you know, <laughs> lots of lovely backgrounds and people saying you know things that don't really mean anything. It's all about wind chimes and flip flops and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to find a rune in this um, room. Um, we, we might not find a rune, yeah, but what you I say? believe you, mm. you, my friend. Yeah, you like to get angry, don't you? Uh, sometimes. Some yeah. might say wrathful. Maybe. Yeah. Do you want to go into a little rage for us? Have a little rage, mate. Uh, I mean, um, I'm reaching here. I'm reaching. Yeah, sure, I'm bottom sure, of the barrel sure, reaching, sure. but. Yeah, uh, everything has been reaching here. The only thing we cannot grab is a rune. Well, have we, we haven't looked properly, have we? Have we, have we really scoured? You've you searched the, the room now, so yeah. There's no rune in the room. I mean, I haven't raged in such a long time. I wouldn't like to. And then M rages. Hey. Oh! <laughs> you fly into a berserk rage. Now, bearing in mind, I have controlled blood rage now. Yeah, so, so you're kind of keeping it. You kind of it's a seething <laughs> anger, sort of passive aggressive. <laughs> like, I, am, I am in a rage. It's, it's a sort of the Daily Mail control. Yeah, turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> You're so, still able to compose a fully, fully rageful yeah, yeah. email to <laughs> yeah. work. Yes, <laughs> signed <laughs> off with regards. <laughs> yeah, no kindness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. All right. What would you like to do in your rage? So, <laughs> well, this is interesting because we probably should have talked about this before I went in the rage. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> You're just got a Tasmanian devil around the room. Just be like. <laughs> 
So I, I'm going to do that for a bit. M's just going to run around the room, just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And then uh, realize that it's not, I don't know. Well, then I'll hand it over to uh, you. I'm afraid that despite all your rage, uh, you're still just a blood rager in a cage. Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, you, uh, you, you achieve nothing through this rage. Uh, how many rounds of it do you want to expend? Because you uh, only have so many for... Just one round, All I'm right. just going to come but out you of run around, <laughs> For so six quick. seconds, you run around the room in a furious rage. Uh, and then it achieves nothing, and you stop and are winded for one round for another six seconds as you catch your breath. I pat, I pat M on the shoulder. No, fair enough, anyway, mate. You it has been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed watching all this. It's been worth a try. Fun. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, so look, I mean, look, 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 can I just say, you looked fucking terrified. That was. Let me just say, that was, that yeah, was dead that dangerous. Was, you that was the scariest six seconds of my life. I'm just going to wipe the spit off my mouth there. What's the plan, Daniel I've, Club? Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, go on, no. go on, Fulton. Yeah, yeah, Fulton. Oh, Fulton. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go. M, cut uh, me. <laughs> cut me. In the eye? No, just just on my hand. <laughs> just on my hand. Why not, uh, the, why not in the eye? Fult, Fulton presents his hand to M. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just just make me bleed. Go I mean, on. Do you want to hand that over? Do it! To a I man just get a dagger out. Why don't you do it yourself? M just gets a dagger out and slashes Fulton's hand. Slash his hand. Fulton, you take one point of damage. Hey! And your hand is now bleeding. Uh, I go over to the statue. Okay. And yeah. rub my hand over the it's statue. It's not really what the statue is all about. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna rub or I rub, I, yeah, actually, I not. go over to the rune slot and okay. I go and I <laughs> rub my hand. Nearing <laughs> your blood, <laughs> painting, <laughs> painting the dusty walls with his blood. Just his case. Once again, that's very hygienic. Passing the let's danger see, DNA. Man, you, never know, you never know. You you wipe blood over the statue. You wipe it over the rune. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nope. Well, I'm out of ideas. Wait, right. no, I, I, I've got a plan. Your right, hand so is just covered in dust and grime. <laughs> like, the, the, that wound looks like you probably want to clean it. So, yeah, it should be fine. So once, uh, now Fulton's um, finished defacing ancient monuments, um, <laughs> I, I, I've got an idea. So it's said to open um, the path of blood. We need the ex oh, I'm sorry. extra rune. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, could the path of blood be the middle passage, maybe? Maybe we need to open the left because I think we're going to have to open another door and use another chime. Yeah, I think that you are right. We're going to have to open another yes. door for Should sure. Should we just go and open the left one? Or let's go. One hey, let's do it. Let's do the left. Yes. Left okay. Right. See left then. Do, do, do. You head Shot back the through the room. <laughs> do, do, so do, 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 do. <laughs> but hang on. <laughs> but if he means left, <laughs> is that your left or my left? Or is that stage left? Is the other is it means like things have been left behind. <laughs> is the is the is, is the note still there? It's just been taken away by whoever is fucking with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before it didn't need any notes, it's it just some doors, didn't matter. So you head back to the uh we'll call it the uh, the western door, the uh, the one that was the left when you came in, uh, and you take out the chime. Um you ding the chime against the uh, the seal. Seal glows for a moment and then the door slides apart again. Um, and you see ahead of you a, uh, a corridor stretching away. This one does not end in a dead end. Um, at the side of the corridor, there is another statue. This one is uh, depicts a creature with the lower body of a serpent uh, and the upper body um, of a uh, the upper body of a woman and the head of a seven-pointed star. So instead of a head, it's just a seven-pointed star. Mm. Its arms are crossed over its um, over itself, and in one hand it holds a feather, and the other hand it holds a whip. Um, the corridor then carries on, uh, and you can see it, um, it branches off in uh, a couple of different directions, but you can see there is also a door um, on the... Uh, uh, on the southern wall, just beyond the statue, there is a wooden door. Hold on, wait, wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. Can I make a knowledge religion check about the statue? Go for it. No need. I know exactly. It's the old uh, star-faced, leathery, feathery uh, lady serpents of old. Well, you've <laughs> Am I right? You've completely put off my chain of thought with that. Uh, so, so I only got... Uh, <laughs> I only got six. I only got a six. Yeah. I mean, he's probably right. I fucking knew it. Caragor's so. nodding sagely. Ah. Shania, I'm like, Shania, no, no, so well, wise. But, but That's great, right, yeah. Now, I'm just a bit concerned. Not so much. I'm going to say, because she's holding a feather. Now, we have just been in a room with a feather. I know, I just wanted and, to... And I'm just thinking... Can I just... Before you... Because I think... I know, I know, as soon as I've seen that feather, I knew what you, Velda, thinky yes. man, I know what you're going to do. Yes. It's going to check the area around the statue for traps All very right, carefully. All right, you go ahead. I think it might be a trap. Yes. Yeah. Like a uh, it's a plus, uh, plus six, isn't it? <laughs> plus five. Uh, plus five. <laughs> okay, right. cool. That's uh, fine. Uh, you find no evidence of traps. I think it's all right. Want to go and do the feathery thing? Do the feather. 
Well, but that's not what the feather does. Do the no, feather. The well, feather well no. It's, Do it's, the it's feather. A, so look, it's a message talisman. Yeah, it turns it into well, a little uh, bird. And oh, yeah, message. It doesn't we so you're not need... supposed to tickle the, we don't, the statue? We can't just, <laughs> we can't just walk past it. It's a corridor. Hey, it's let's go. Let's go and check Alton out Alton walks down okay. towards the, the door at the end. Okay. And follows. And it is a wooden door. It is a wooden door. So yeah. you go past the... Um, yeah, you go past the statue. I also check that for traps. Okay. The door that he's about yeah. to go through. I feel he's like I have to, just before anyone speaks, I'm like, I check for traps. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you go past it, you find no traps. Um, when you get past the statue, you come to the door. Uh, the corridor here is, uh, is effectively a T-junction. So now um, it carries on directly ahead of you, and it goes off to the north. Um, this is going to be fine because Velda is making a map um, as he was uh, as he said he would last episode I, know, you know, so I you nearly just said I'm, I start drawing a little map <laughs> and I nearly yeah. just said Velda are you drawing a map yes <laughs> good, the, um, good. Uh, so the door is effectively the door is to the south and then there are unexplored passageways um, going away to the west and to the north this door um, looks buckled from the outside it looks like something has been hammering on it from the outside trying to get in Caragon nods um, sagely. Uh, look at that! Some, some, some absolutely masterful kicking door action gone on there, isn't there? <laughs> Should Caragon's we open that? Let's proud. not kick any doors. Yeah, hey, let's, let's not make not... too much noise. Yeah, I know you want to, Caragon. I don't want. I don't want to. Caragon blushes. No, and no, away. he needs to. <laughs> you always kick doors. What would you like to do with this door? Uh, should we go in, or it's... should we probably leave it? <clears throat> I mean, it's the only. Vaguely sensible. I mean, we haven't got a progression in any other direction, so let's go through it. I okay. say. Okay. Fulton opens the door. Yeah, okay. The door is barred from the other side. Right. Yeah, right. Can I knock on it? No, knock, don't knock on, on the, the door. door. <laughs> Rachel <laughs> Henley. <laughs> oh! There is. Uh, you have been hiding in this room uh, for some time. Um, it has been quite a long time. Um, when suddenly. There is a uh, there is a rattle at the door, and then a very polite knock <laughs> on the door. What would you like to do? Um, what can I do? You can say whatever you like. If you'd like, you can hide. Um, you can uh, you can not reply. You can reply. You can um, uh, use an ability. So the room to describe the room that you are in. Um, it is a relatively small room. It appears to be entirely made from gold. Okay. Uh, it is shining, uh, all shining gold. Uh, there are jewel encrusted candelabras everywhere. There are several um, uh, sort of funeral buyers laid out, um, so like work benches with troughs underneath. Uh, it looks like it's for preparing bodies. Uh, there is also um, the upper torso uh, of your guide. Isaac lying uh, half trapped lying by the door mm -hmm. um, you have been in here for several days now um, waiting uh, after being chased in here and this is the first noise you've heard from outside occasionally you've heard banging on the door mm -hmm. um, as uh, the creature that chased you here has tried to get in to get at you um, however this is the first time somebody has politely knocked on the door <laughs> so whether you feel that this is a trap or not uh, is up to you but it is uh, your decision as to whether you want to answer or not okay um hello shit Fulton be quiet Fulton be quiet hello um, you did not okay. come on let's just move on Fulton I um I hide behind the door okay um, and shout and ha who is that? Hey, Gates, the everyone, Gates, there's someone in there. There's someone an in enter. There. Who, who's behind we the door? We have been invited. Hello? Can you open the door? It's a bit locked. Wait, wait. Hang on a minute. <clears throat> what? Friend. I read about this. Friend. You have to say friend and enter. <laughs> okay. Is that what you want? Do you want us to say friend? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say oh, friend or foe. Hey. Do we all friend say? Friend or foe. All together then. Okay. One, two, okay. three. Friend. friend. Now we enter. I unbar the door. Okay, Told you, you move the candelabra. Oh, fell down, yeah. That never work. Uh, Fulton, you open the door uh, and step into this shiny gold Ooh. room. Um, Rachel, this takes your characters um, by surprise slightly with the light because your torch has long since burned mm -hmm. out. So you've been here in the dark, in pitch darkness for uh, for some time. Uh, the room lights up um, with shimmering gold as you <gasps> enter, and you see the jewels glittering on the walls. That's pretty. Um, <laughs> And a group of people stride in. Rachel, would like you? Would you like to describe your character, please? Yes. 
Uh, I um, should I say my character? Do I say my character's name? You will want to introduce your character when you uh, when you tell the ca- tell everyone. But for now, tell them what you look like. Okay, so I have got. Um, I am wearing very very expensive but very tatty robes. I've adorned myself with various bits of nature teeth, um, bits of branches. I'm very very unkempt. Um, uh, um, I don't really know what else to say. I've got, I'm a woman with long, long, long hair. Everything has been growing out for quite some time now. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a sort of, I look like I've been sort of pulled through a hedge backwards, but everything I'm wearing is actually very, very expensive. Do you want to say Kate Bush? Because you can say Kate Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say Cat Lady from The Simpsons. That's what I was yeah. picturing. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, fantastic. Let's Cross qui- between the two. Let's quickly go around the table and just describe uh, the uh, the characters walking through the door. Start with Fulton because he's the first one. Fulton uh, has a ginger mohawk, uh, big ginger beard. Uh, he is a dwarf. Uh, he has a, a lion's teddy bear head on his head <laughs> with a crown on it as well. Uh, he's got a great axe in his hand and banded mail. Uh, nice. He's wearing banded mail, and that's about it, really. Cool. MZ. Okay, so MZ stands at about six foot. He's got long, sort of wavy, dark hair. Um, he's got a big, long broadsword in his hands. He's got a hood just over him, but just poking out of the hood and the hair, you can see like Elvish like he is, but he looks very human, do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. But he's got like elvish ears coming out. Uh, and he's wearing sort of nice brown leather armour. Nice brown <laughs> leather armour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Velda. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, Velda is about six foot tall. He's quite thin. Uh, he's wearing um, a sort of purple robe and a very battered, what's obviously a, a sort of very battered wizard's hat. Um, many patched, various bags and things sort of hanging off him, and he's got a little fox. He looks a bit scrawny, sort of trotting in beside him, oh, and nice. he's got blue swirly <laughs> patterns all over his skin. Oh, yeah. Special yeah. fox. Caragor. Caragor is a half orc, so he looks like a stocky human, but with a slight greenish tinge to his uh, features. He's wearing an eye patch in the shape of a black heart uh, and similarly black armor. The top of which could looks like it could double into a corset, um, <laughs> and stocky with a beard. That. Oh, he's got one obvious fang poking out over the top of his lip. And Shania. Uh, Shania is uh, six foot two, um, sort of a tall, wiry um, uh, lady. Um, no longer wearing bandages all over her body. She's abandoned the bandages, um, but still wearing shrouds, uh, you know, with a hood um, and uh, a large scythe and goggles and has a monkey with her. Um, so, yeah, she's got like, it was a devil monkey. It's quite an evil looking monkey. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, skin is is purple um, with carvings into it sort of scars that have been dyed red um, yeah it's a dark elf uh, and I will describe the only NPC in the room which is the torso of a Tengu uh, which is like a crow person so a big uh, a big bird uh, it is lying face down uh, on the floor by the door um, it's literally just the upper half of its body um, from where it's lying it looks like the lower half of it was probably on the other side of the door when the door got shut um, it is definitely dead um, and with that what would you all like to see this wonderful group of gentlemen and lady pile into the room um, with your character um, I should mention as well that I'm quite small and slight. Small and slight. That's good. Keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a small and slight. You can probably take it. <laughs> in the corner. What are we? Are what? we? Are we? Is it? Sorry, mate. Is, is it obvious what to us what your race? Yeah, that's is? what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. You're human. I'm aren't you? human. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Human. Um, oh. Oh, sorry, that's such a pleb. Like, <laughs> so that is a given. No, to, to be fair, you did say lady, yeah, so yeah, you've yeah. been assumed. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be uh, sure. Just yeah. in case. You, might, you might be playing some exotic race that none of us have ever met before. Do you know what I mean? So. Hello, we uh, we mean you no harm. Oh, thank God, pearls. Hello. Uh, well, we might be. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, who I, she is. Uh, well, that's, uh, who are you? Sorry, are that's Velda. There's a lot of information. Probably we're telling you. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Are you here to guide me? Uh, well, we're uh, yes. not, yeah, Can maybe. Can you be wrathful? Do you have a wrath rune on you? A wrath rune? A wrath rune. Sorry, I'm terribly sorry. So, what, sweetheart, what is... I don't know what, where that is. I've been stuck here Ooh. for a, 
for longer than I care to say, and I just right. need to find my way out of here. So have, have, have they sent you? Have the crow people sent you? Sorry, who, so who, who, yeah, this is a very dangerous place. How did you end up here? What's your name? That's people? what I was trying to ask. Yeah, who are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. How absolutely impolite of me. Um, <laughs> my name is Zola, Zola Dubois. Um, and uh, I'm here because, um, oh, it's just an absolute nightmare to be quite honest. It's very inconvenient. Um, I, uh, where do I start? I basically entered through one of the faces here. Um, my guide, Isaac, um, showed me through here. And then we basically got chased by this fucking massive monster. In, uh, ran into this room, closed the door, and oh, silly of me, really, but um, he got stuck halfway through. So, and so this was your guide, this dead person on the uh, floor? Yeah, it's oh, so inconvenient. Can't. But Ooh. I mean, I just, it's it good because I really I have no food left. And um, I've, he would have eaten it as well. It was really awful watching him die, though, bless him. It's really. It's very inconvenient. Oh, it's so terrible. Inconvenient. It's watch very him terribly die. inconvenient. It's awful. Yeah. Right. Saying I that, he goes over and quietly tries to check the body, see if there's anything good left on it. <laughs> <laughs> must be awful for you to have uh, been inconvenienced. I was going to say, it looks no, like... The, the body's pockets have been picked clean. Uh, Caragol so just cuts the body and then we, looks at the gold in the in, in the rest of the room. Looks like, <laughs> looks like this bird's we're, been stuffed. Well, we are all, we are all part of the Danger Club. Uh, we're all, we all met each other not so long ago, like about, what was it, three months ago or something? So sorry, no, you've not come to... Uh, you've not, not been sent by the Teng... Yes, we yes, have. The da- yes, they they employed have. the Danger Club to yeah, come right, find right. you. We are here to definitely... We can help you, definitely, and we can stop any monster that was chasing you. Um, I'm Karagor Wanfang, and I've never lost a fight to man nor beast. I see. I'm uh, Fulton Battlestone, king of the carnival, as you can see by my crown on my head. It's lovely. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Just those two. It's just those two. <laughs> 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 the rest of you like to introduce us. <laughs> yeah, no, my name is Shania. It's very nice to make your acquaintance. But I, I really I need to know, the, why were you coming down here? Why were you being guided down here in the first place? What is the reason for coming into this place? Hold on, let's talk about that in a moment. Let's carry on introducing ourselves. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Sort of, yeah, key. Wizard. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. You look like a nice chap, actually. What's that Ooh. awful creature with you, though? Um, <laughs> this is my familiar gin. Uh, <clears throat> it's a fox. A fox. I see. Yeah, you know um, what, you're right, Zoe. We don't give enough shit to your familiar, do we? Yeah, we do. You, no, you, you, never, don't. you never, never talk about it. You. you never do anything with oh, it. No, I just sort of sit there. He just sort of sits by me. I feed him. My name is MZ, <laughs> son of Bemzy. <laughs> what? What? We, never, what? we, we, we did not had. know about this. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer random rich lady. And Spencer thing, fucking Spencer. Never, never, never said together that. for months. Yeah, we, I introduced myself like this all the time. Fulton, when I met you, I said, my name is MZ. Oh, yeah, you did. Son of Bemzy. Uh, you might know me as, uh, you know, Dragon Decapitator. <laughs> <laughs> we did kill a dragon, oh, actually. Seven yeah. shades you mean we? Shit I killed a dragon. About. Well, no, I was there. Decapitated well. dragon. So. As you can see, Zola, oh, we're, we're very yeah. well knit, and we found out a lot about each other back three months ago when we first met. And <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yes, you remind me very much of a blackjack dealer, actually, in the Bottoms District. Where, oh, is that right? Yes. Uh, hateful little man, but I'm sure you're lovely. <laughs> um, you didn't meet a pocket meat dealer as well, did you? Uh, I may what? have done. That's for me to know. You need to find out. Oh, Car- Caragol feels like there's been a hierarchy established. Here. <laughs> okay, so is it sure if she, she should, he should maybe bring her some food? Maybe. Um, yes, please. Anyway. Have, you, have you all done with the, with, with the introductions? Yeah, yeah? Shania, okay. Sorry, what so what the saying? fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. As as Shania and Zola are having this conversation, Caragol is very quietly trying to see if he can prise any of the gold loose from the walls. Okay. Um, you start chiseling at some of the gold with your dagger, um, and you find that. That some of the gold sort of flakes off and below it uh, is stone it looks like it's a gold veneer that has been painted onto all yeah. of the, uh, the stone um, it does uh, make an appraise check <laughs> so I don't I, I roll outside the dice tray I got two a two you've got no idea if it's real or not <laughs> <laughs> sorry back uh, back on the conversation with Shania and Zola yeah, so the, the, uh, why, was, why was your guide bringing here? What, what was your reason for coming down here in the first place? You know, I mean, I understand that you got chased by the monster and, and uh, that your guide is now dead and you've been stuck here for some time, but, but why were you coming to this place in the first place? I, I am very fuzzy on this. Can I pause? Yeah. So do I, get to give, do I have to just sort of go, go balls out straight away? Like, well, how does it work? You can do no, whatever, whatever you want, you do. want to do. So you think of this as a sandbox. So you can do whatever you want. So you can you can divulge information. You can not divulge information. You can keep things to your chest. You can lie. Sit down. You could yeah. You could do whatever you want. Um, but but obviously based on what your character would do and what you feel in the moment. Okay. 
But don't feel constrained. I was going to do what another character would do at this point, but... Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah. um, what do you mean, I've got to do this? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, they can do whatever you like. Okay, fabulous. Um, oh, I've come here seeking something quite specific, actually, and I just got stuck in here, so it's actually wonderful you've all come. Um, I right, something what? quite specific, please. Feel free to be more specific to us. <laughs> <laughs> please. Yeah, otherwise we can't help you if you don't know everything. Well, I'd, ri- I'd rather like to know what the hell you're all doing down here. We we come to find you. It's not exactly Piccadilly we Circus. We, we, we have been hired, okay? There's dark dealings down these ways, and someone has hired us to, to deal with the darkness, okay? So that's um, as much as you should need to know, okay? And where have you been up until now? Have you seen anything Adventuring? Other than... No, we've only just got here. We... You've just Shania, got here. Shania, for a lady asking demanding specifics from somebody else, you've <laughs> given absolutely nothing away. Yeah, that's my fucking rule, okay? <laughs> I got my rules for me. You, have, you fucking have your own rules, okay? Right, fine, I will. As uh, Zolo, we got hired by... Um, uh, well, you know, some people uh, to come down here and address some problems that were emanating from the ossuary down here. Uh, but apparently, people don't come down here very often, which is why we were quite surprised to find you. I'm quite surprised to find yeah. you also. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a burial site. Um, I'm looking for my brother's body, who's been bar- buried here recently. Aha. Um, ah, do you live here then? Like, not obviously in the... Of course I don't fucking live here, bro. How <laughs> <laughs> fucking dare you? <laughs> No, I found myself down here. I'm absolutely fucking starving. I haven't had a drink in days, and I just need to find my fucking brother's body. Carrigal steps backwards, uh, and then he gets some tra- he gets uh, gets some rations out, and then he gingerly offers them towards Zola. Yeah, I've got some. Uh, there's no yak's milk. I'm sorry, but uh, here you go, some snacks and stuff if you want. Zola approaches Carrigal and says, "It's very kind. Thank you ever so much." And then just promptly stuffs the entire confection <laughs> into her mouth. Fantastic, Mr. Fox style. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like rabid, like a little ferret. And Bill, Bill's yeah, been a bit yeah. off-putted by all this strong emotion flying around, so he's going to go over to the wall and just appraise that gold yeah, go sort ahead. of uh, leaf. Uh, hmm, not bad. 17? 17. So uh, you'd have a good look at it. It looks like the... Um, although everything appears to be incredibly valuable, um, the gold is just sort of thin plating uh, on the walls. Uh, the gems are mostly replicas. Um, you reckon that you reckon that you could probably scrape off if you were to scrape off all of the gold from the walls um, and prize out all of the gems. You could collectively get about a hundred gold pieces worth of valuables from this room. Yeah, it me. is going to take hours and hours. To, like you, yeah. it's going to be like taking wallpaper. Like you're going to have to just go and scrape all yes. of the gold off. I yeah. Uh, I just I'd sort of because I saw Caragor doing it. I just go up and say, Caragor, don't bother. So yeah, stop five minutes ago. Yeah, it's not real. So I gave no, him some food. Worry, don't worry about the gems, everyone. It's it's just. I wasn't going to bother. I was fine. So, so Zola, uh, what stop, was? Stop. Um, stop. Oh, stop! stop. Just, 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 get off me! What? I see you, Velda. <laughs> Touching me I unnecessarily. So. Learn consent. Velda touches his shoulder. Ah, uh, hey! I'll tell Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Zola, what was uh, chasing you into this room? Why did you buy yourself in here? What's what I was? D- I didn't get a chance to look at it properly, actually, and it just made the most incredibly awful noise and Isaac just sort of bundled uh, bundled us in here but it sounded absolutely frightful and can you do an impression of the noise <laughs> absolutely terrible you asked for that Colin you asked for that it's your, it's your own fault hey listen man sorry MZ are you in charge of sound <laughs> <laughs> all this time MZ just had some cans on like, all this time no one's Zola, 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 don't make so much noise please please um, we're, so we're we never know that creature could be around here anyway. Yeah, I think we need to be very careful. It sounds like uh, some extremely dangerous business is not far away. Can I, I think so, wait, and wait. I don't know when he'll be back. This this Zola, monster. Zola, might be a could, I, could I just ask? I know it's going to be difficult to um, to <laughs> d- d- understand because we've been down here and uh, the passage of time and things. But when was that? Oh, so I lose track of time. I mean, I could try and think of it in the way of has it Has it food. been? Has it been? You know, it's been a sig- number of days I've been here now. I don't um, think right. she would know specifically. No, 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 no. I've just I'm been just in the dark. If... Time and space no. has just been a construct. Yes, it's of just... course. So I was just trying to work out whether or not this thing is literally somewhere around here. At I mean, it probably is. We heard, yeah, I, I think, think a banging. Well, let's assume that it's it is. I mean, yes. I, I, I would suggest that we leave the room so we don't have to bar ourselves in here again. That's exactly what I was thinking. Aye, we shot. don't need to bar a door when I've got this great axe. 
and also me as well swinging it. And also, I don't really like barring or shutting doors. There's something about it that rebels in my nature. <laughs> I like that, kicking is, them open. Is that the same axe I fixed? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah so thanks. Broke it on the floor. Yeah, yeah thanks. He broke his axe. Zola, do you mind if I ask you one more question before you get out of this room? Um, y- y- your guide, Isaac, Caragor stops, f- tries to stop a smirk. A successful guide. Um, d- d- how did he get in this room? I presume he had some kind of chime device. Uh, he did not know. This this no, door is this, this door is just a wooden no, door. You see, okay, Caragor, cool. it's just a normal door, yeah. yeah. He would, I was just wondering if he <gasps> yeah, got how through did he the get, chime yeah, doors. Yeah, exactly. How did he get through to the the doors the that we place. got through? You know nothing about I know uh, nothing of chimes. chimes. I know well. nothing of chimes. All right, fair enough. I know nothing of chimes. All right, I, I heard you <laughs> say That's okay, I'm sorry, Zola. Let's let's go, shall we? Just, just okay, out of, so <laughs> just out of character, uh, for the sake of my map, uh, there is no exit to this room, is there? No, this is just, this room has no exit. Yeah, that's fine. just one. Did, so just, no, I was just going to say quickly. The guy did he say, did he he didn't say anything about what was chasing you? Uh, you I know, think as you're busy got, dying. Yeah. Unfortunately, once he'd been sort of cut in half by a door, he couldn't really speak properly. Or oh, so annoying. Effectively, it was so. I know, right? Um, oh, cut me! Oh, I'm Zola, in half. Zola, oh. Zola. I know. First world problems, oh. you know. Zola, <laughs> um, do you have any weapons? I do. I have a rapier and a dagger. I suggest you keep them on. I see. Okay. Very quick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, also, do I have anything else? Soz, Dan. That's all um, right. You have a short bow. Uh, I have a so short you, bow. So you can, uh, and you have <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we don't need a bow by blow account of your <laughs> yeah, pockets. You, can stuff. You, you can keep that Just yourself. Would you Looking like me to open pack. my backpack? No. Never look at a lady's backpack. You keep that handbag. The contents of my trousseau. My portmanteau. Um, Caragor laughs when she says Trisso yeah. and Portmanteau and then just looks away because he doesn't know what either bird is. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go English. should we so this as we come out of the room there's another two ways we could go right down uh, the corridors yeah mm-hmm. so yeah. Should, are we going to go explore this area have you explored much of this area Zola I came in the um, I came into God's mouth ossuary Via a face, a stone face. I had a whole a team stone of guides. Face. A, a whole, whole team, team of guides. There was a team of guides that led me here, but it was just me and Isaac, that, Isaac that came in together. Uh-huh. We came quickly through some corridors, and he was he was in quite a rush. I think he's being paid by the hour. And um, <laughs> <laughs> you were not paying him. <laughs> Well, yes, I was, but I'm oh, right, very okay. good at bargaining. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I struck a deal, and um. The whole idea is that it was meant to be done very, very quickly. You see, I'm on a bit of a time limit. And so uh, we came through various different passageways until we came upon this absolutely god-awful monster. I mean, serious anger issues. And I just... And then that was also... That was sort of where we came in. So it all happened very quickly, and then right. I've just been stuck here since. And I'm so sorry that we might have got off on the wrong foot. And That's okay. I, um, I think what would be really lovely is if we could sort of help each other, because, you know... Hey. Um, yeah, this seems like You stick with idea. us. Yeah. You're part thank of the you. Danger Club now. Oh, thank you, Dwarf. That's very kind. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. His name's Fulton. Yeah. Thank you, Fulton, it's okay. the Dwarf. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I, I get it. Sorry, I've never met a Dwarf before. Hey, well, now really? you have. Really? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, well, Fascinating they are. They are. What, one last thing, sorry. <laughs> what is Isaac? He's a crow. Oh, okay. No, He's a crow a man. person then, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a kingu. Yes, they are. Pingu. 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 As he lies there, legs missing. <laughs> yeah, team, this is Take pretty insane. Respect for the dead. Good job, he's made of plasticine. Yeah, go just walks over to the corpse and goes, "Noot, noot, noot, noot." All right, let's go. Let's go. Wait, hang on. One more thing. <laughs> One more thing. How Zola, many more Zola. things do you have? I don't know. Zola. I feel like I should be checking more or doing more here. Dan. Do you? Are you? No, no you're, doing, no, you're okay. doing good. Yep, all good. Are you? Are you? Just a uh, silly question. Are you alive? Oh. Do you know what I mean? No, it's a good question actually. You know I mean? Are you alive? I just, it's a silly question, but no, I make I mean, sure. Last time I fucking checked, darling. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so, left out of this room or right out of this room? <laughs> Uh, oh, right. oh, so back where we came. Out, as you come out of the room, I'll give you your options. You can go. Um, you can go to the east, which will take you back the way you came. You can right. go north, which is a corridor stretching off into the distance, uh, into the dark. Uh, or you can go west, um, which stretches off in that direction. The thing is, is best. but well, the thing is, Zola's probably uh, 
got through this way without that chime through this way. So surely it's better to go back where we were, maybe use the chime on the centre door. I don't know. No, we've used the centre door. You mean I, the right door? It's not used I do not chimes. think we should use any more chime. No, 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 not, no, no, no. not unless we have to. How, uh, yeah, okay. Well, well, do you think we should explore this area? Yeah, I, of I course. Just, Can okay. I ask about your chime, please? What, what is this chime? It lets us get through certain doors in the ossuary, but we've got to keep one if we want a simple exit out of here. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, you see, the, um, the, the priests and priestesses of Phasma um, lock this area with those doors to um, stop anything coming out or things going in. We've experienced a lot of uh, dead people. Uh, have with, you? Have you really? Yeah, uh, with um, living not, dead. No, like living dead, like not zombies. Here. Uh, not here, but there is a suspicion that there might be some necromantic um, antics going on. Yes, I Necromantic would. antics. Necromantic <laughs> antics. Necromantics. Necromantic antics. Necro antics. <laughs> yeah, this uh, perhaps is the reason that you're looking for your brother's body, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah indeed. You're you tried to up uh, yeah, me? <laughs> uh, yeah, right back. We have something in common. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I mean, I, I would like to find... Um, this, uh, an ancient burial. I'd like to find a tomb, if possible. What was well, his name? Ama. Can I go put his hand on Zeta's shoulder? We'll find him. Oh, don't worry. He was a shit. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 you, want to defile, you want us to defile his corpse? We can do that too. I won't yes, lie. please. Bane of my fucking life. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry. Was he rich? He was, yes. Was he famous? He was quite famous. Oh, Gorham's balls. Are we going to be likely to mm, find him I'm not wrestling. So he, yeah, okay. he might be a, well, yeah. he might be a zombie. Her, her, let's just cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? Okay, well, then okay. let's cross some fucking bridges and get the fuck out of here <laughs> and, <laughs> and move. Let's move. Should we go down the centre? Down the corridor? Yeah, whatever, man. All right, let's go that way. All right. Uh, Fulton <laughs> leads the way. This uh, way! <laughs> out the centre. Impulsive Fulton is uh, <laughs> what we need. He's the hero we need right now. So you start heading down the uh, the corridor. Uh, sorry, what in, in what... Uh, same what formation order? as before I'm going to get oh we've got a new one fair enough uh, so uh, what was it was it you Fulton. or me at the front or back we're, 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 we're top and tailing aren't we we're bookending these guys so. I am at the yeah. front not to, uh, not, not to be um, 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 uh, in politic um, but uh, do, do you have any skills Zola. Velda, that's you, so rude, Velda. No, I'm just Sorry, thinking, he does this look, all the no, time, no, no, Zola. No, 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 look, I'm just thinking we're in a very perilous situation and um, I'm just wondering, you know, do, do you it, need utter protection or can you do some things or <laughs> what, 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 what do you do? Uh, what do I do? Uh, I, I can definitely uh, add to the party here, I think. Um, I am extremely agile and um, I'm, I'm a noble woman by birth, so I'm trained in the art of combat, rap rapier and dagger. Oh. Um I'm very, very good at um, being understood. <laughs> <laughs> Stop interrupting, Bob. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm very good at deception as well, so um, I'm good at talking people around if we encounter anybody who's troublesome. I see you, Zola. I Ooh. see the kind of I can't see the kind of lady you are. I get you, right? I, I reckon second, second in, second or third in. All right, to the formation. <laughs> yes. So yeah, actually, Zola Fulton sort of front. tries to place herself as far back in the formation as she possibly can. Ah, well, okay. I mean, you could be at the back with me if you want, but I mean, we could get attacked from the back, which is why I'm here. Well, I don't mind. You go can go in the middle then. You stay yes. wherever you I mean, want. I'm, go in the middle. I'm in the middle. middle. The middle. Yes. So let's go Fulton, M, Velda, Zola, Shania, Karagor. Nice. I'll protect you yeah, with a okay. little box. I mean, I don't think we have to walk in single file. No, <laughs> These are quite large corridors. But it's, a, it's a good... The you know, corridor's just, wide enough to walk two abreast, so yeah, you can abreast, go... Yeah. You can you can walk in but, ranks yeah, of two. Around like a, that sort of thing. Like a proper yeah. RPG. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So All right. Making your way up the uh, the corridor. It's exactly what you want to hear from a stranger you meet in a dark room, isn't it? Is, oh, I'm, I'm quite good with a knife and I'm very deceptive. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I, will I really like your... how you all just got on board with that really <laughs> yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a sword and I will talk you out of your shoes. Uh, <laughs> She's just kind of leading us up a dark path. Sorry, she? I've got to interrupt. Um, I've got to swap places with you, Fulton. Why? Because I've got to check for traps properly constantly, haven't I? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'll go around the front okay. and I'll just okay. awkwardly I just move. Have a thing around. Around. Assume that everywhere oh. I'm going, I'll so check for traps. Yeah. Have to tell uh, you, you, you have to. Say, if there's a specific thing that you're looking for, you have to because uh, you don't have the skill. That means you get an automatic no. check. When yeah, you I was just looking to, to save them. time, so I didn't. Um, you know, but yeah, we can. We'll assume if you're at the front, you're having a look around. You find no evidence of traps on this corridor, but what you do find after walking a short way is relatively fresh blood smeared. 
slid uh, across the wall and floor that seems to just lead off down the corridor. Fulton, have you been here before? Hmm? <laughs> and you should really bandage that hand. Ah, uh, it looks a bit mucky. The, oh, Shania, right. Shania the, checks the blood to see how fresh it is. Can I check okay, that? Okay, yeah, uh, make a heal check. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like... 25. 25. Okay, you reckon that um, you reckon it's several days old, um, and also as you're looking around it, uh, you find a couple of feathers um, lying around, black feathers that look sort of quite ruffled. Um, that's Can I tell where the feathers are from? Like the uh, same kind they of. They look very similar to the uh, the crow person, right, okay. to the tengu that you saw. Right. Um, right. I'm afraid this is uh, probably the remains of your guide, Isaac. Well, no, no, mm. no, no, we can deduce from this that the creature went this way. This yes, way. Yeah. So, so should we probably go the opposite yeah, way? Should we go what? some another yeah. way? What? Yeah. what? No. No, I... If we're going Possibly to find out what the problem is, we need to track this kind of darkness. This is I've exactly never run what away they're here for. A fight before. Yes, okay, you've won me honest. over. Let's go. No, yes, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Wait, Come on. But, fuck Velda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We keep going. We keep going. It's important that we find this beast and destroy it. Zola, I feel it, yeah. and I, I just I know that it will. Yes, yeah. it's okay. No one listens to Velda anyway. You're very persuasive, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Do you know what, Zola? That that impassioned me. Yeah, you're right. I never shy away from a fight, darling. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, that's I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should we kick Velda out of the group? <laughs> <laughs> what, no, now? his little fox is growing on me. I like it. Velda has left the party. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to joke in, Velda. Right, I like go. you. All right, upstairs. You make your way along. There are no stairs. Oh, sorry, uh, I <laughs> down the stairs. <laughs> Around the stairs. <laughs> Starts carving some stairs in desperately. Yeah. You make your way further along the uh, along the corridor. Um, the first things you come to are a, uh, a pair of openings um, on the uh, uh, on the left and on the right. There are a couple of little doors. There no there's no doorways. There's just there just uh, no doors in them. They're just opening um, just openings on either side. And then the corridor carries on, and you can see ahead uh, that there are a further two sets uh, of openings. So you've got. Uh, doors opposite each other three sets uh, of doors opposite each other as it goes along and then you can see the corridor reaches an end um, further down just um, a dead end uh, just a dead end yeah so it looks like you've got where, you, where are you Velda to uh, hey Velda Velda do your do your magic thing <laughs> detect yeah you know detect oh, magic thing say, yeah. uh, while Velda just doing. cast oh. detect magic okay uh, so you start detecting magic. You start. Um, there is magic uh, in the area around you. Um, you can detect illusion magic um, coming from the entrance to your left, uh, and you can detect um, uh, faint conjuration magic coming from the door uh, to your right. And you've still got that background of necromantic magic. Yes. Yeah. Just for I'm going to tune that out unless okay. that changes. Yeah. No, that's thing. fine. Yeah, that's so, the same. Um, there's uh, illusion. From the left and and uh, conjuration from the right. Um, and here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Shut up, Velda. Velda. <laughs> Velda. Just carry on again. Uh. I'm not. I'm not experienced with magic, but can you like find out when the uh, when that was made? Like when it was conjured up. Um, well, I Why, Fulton? Because then we can find out how like early, if this is a constant thing. If this is like a constant illusion, or if it's somebody did it like about an hour ago, you'd be like, oh, okay, well then there's someone around here, I know where to go. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I just I still mean, think it's a trap all the way. I mean, I, yeah, I, mean yeah. I, can, I can focus a bit more um, if you give me some time. So if, if you're willing to wait, I'll just focus a bit more to try and find uh, a bit more. Shania's, has been sort of checking around to see if there's any more um, traces of like blood, any other tracks that show which way the beast might have Oh, yeah, the, the blood goes further down the corridor. Um, so you can follow the trail uh, a little further down. Uh, Velda, you um, uh, you get a sense from it that the illusion magic is uh, the illusion magic is current is moderately powerful. The conjuration magic is um, the conjuration magic is is very very weak. It's just kind of background. Right. I relay that. I don't so, know what that means, but well, okay. Well, no, no, no. Now the illusion could be someone trying to defend themselves from the monster. Zora, 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 uh, Zola. Yeah. Zola, 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 Zola. That's it. Literally, oh, you did. Yeah, look, I'm bad, bad, bad with names. Uh, <laughs> did you said you came in here with other Tengu? 
No, just my guide. The te- other Tengu left us on the cliff face. Ah. Yeah, Well, so yes, I mean, this illusion magic is fairly recent. Interesting. Can you dispel it? Um, uh, well, I think you so just sort of a disbelieve good idea. it. Disbelieve um, it. Can we, going over to that alcove, that, that passage, what does it look like? So you peer around the corner into, um, into the room with the, um, on the left with the illusion side magic. Uh, this one, uh, this room seems to be laid out very similar to the room you found Zola in, except this doesn't have um, gold and jewels everywhere. Um, this has brightly painted carvings on all of the walls uh, that show uh, mighty dragons um, battling, with, um, sh- battling with clerics and angels kneeling before humans. Uh, there's a sort of uh, faint perfume smell uh, in the air uh, and on the beds um, or on the buyers that are there are three bodies dressed in um, luxurious golden robes they are perfectly preserved and appear to be sleeping um, except that their chests are not moving so oh. where was this again uh, this is on the door on uh, on the left the left wait, right. wait a moment wait wait what is um, it? so this don't there's something, there is an illusion here. Can I tell where the illusion's coming from? Is it just a general... It seems to come from the room in general. Right. Don't... This is not what it looks like. Um, anyone got a stone or a pebble? Is there any pebbles or stones or something uh, like that? Right. And I get one, and I just sort of toss it in the room. Okay. Whilst uh, trying to sort of disbelieve Make a will save. Okay. Uh, He's uh, beginning uh, to disbelieve. Oh, <laughs> no. Believe, believe it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the stone. Based on based on what Velda said, Five. can I have a go? Yes. Yeah, you can all yes. have a this go. Is yeah, this is an illusion. This is not what it looks like. Let's all have a go. So, okay. So a. Uh, can you can I borrow a, a dice? First roll. You should have. So you want Here the twenty-sided go. dice. This one. Do. Yep. And Give you it a roll. That and you've got uh, a skill Ooh. skill for will, which I think for you is zero. Um, but uh, so you're gonna roll that. Add your number to it. This is so exciting. Oh, it's shit. Hang on. <laughs> Welcome right. to the game. Yeah, yeah, first roll. So you want will oh save. I, I believe will, it is. Will. Will. Zero. Zero. Se- plus seven is so seven. seven. Nice. Um, I believe the only person who's going to see this is Fulton. I got 18. 18 for Fulton. I got 12. 12. I also got 12. Yeah, yeah, four. Really Terrible badly rolls, to, man. Terrible it, I rolls. swear it's an illusion. You're, you're all of you looking at it and, and thinking, actually, it's, it's not a bad perfume. It's, uh, it's kind of nice. Um, might, try, might try to get some of this. Um, you're on the verge it's of kind of about nice. to start going through the pockets of some of the bodies when Fulton, you walk in and kind of scratch your head and then wave your hand um, and the image all disappears and the room is completely empty. Uh, the bodies on it um, just turn to skeletons um, lying on there and the room is cold and dark and covered in dust uh, and Fulton as you relay this to everyone the illusion falls away for everyone else as well and you see through it I do just, just on a point Zelda did not go in the room he's still in the corridor okay, outside the being, corridor. being like it's not real it's not wait, real wait wait so do you reckon like the people that put them down here in the crypts they do that for the people who come visit their ancestors to see them what they were used to be like oh yeah like some kind of maybe. grave dresser maybe maybe right. Sandra would make sense yeah, yeah. The skeletons are still there on what used to be what it was I presume it is yes yeah. uh, the one thing you can see is a rune carved into one of the walls <gasps> Um, a rune. This is what we need. To can I? Well, it might not be. It is. does not remove from the wall. It's just carved into the stone itself. Um, it is the um, it is the Thassilian um, symbol for pride. Ah. Make a rubbing of that, Velda, with your well, paper. I speak Thassilian. Yeah. What? Oh, what? Yes, Good. you understand it. I understand the symbol this. Of pride. Wow. Cool. Read it for us. It means well, it peace. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> I understand it perfectly. <laughs> Just let me consult my dictionary of Thessalian. And, uh, Peace among yeah, worlds. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it means pride. Pride. Uh, pride. It's a pride. Symbol yeah. means pride. Everybody, this symbol means pride. Right. No, no, wait, no, 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 it's not. We need rough. What we need. Now, now, but remember the image of what we saw. Remember how prideful that was. All the gold, all the <gasps> yeah. angels yeah, 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 to, yeah, yeah. To, to people, and the three bodies. Ah, this, this is going to be a continuing theme, I think. Wizard, I think we'll find I, the other virtues. Yes. Felder, take a take a little rubbing of this, just in case we need it in future. We might not, but if this is going to be the way it goes, if we come across the the wrath one and it doesn't detach from anything, then we've got to take a rubbing of that to go and try and mimic hey, it right. in the room. Yeah, that so, might work. That might so work. Velda looks at Caragon, walks up, to go and rub it, rub it, okay. rub one out, rubs it with his no, hand. Oh, you're a smart what, what man. You, you know what I mean. If I know what an ancient looks like. 
you start, uh, you make a, a rubbing of the uh, the symbol, so you have it. If you I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I'm literally just rubbing it with my You're hand. Being Look, like, I don't know what you mean. You've got to be so creepy for why yeah. you're so creepy. Well, like, 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 things rub Shania you know takes a I mean. piece of paper, Everyone parchment Everyone go out. ahead and make Thank a... Thank you, Shania. Uh, Shania, you stand there making a rubbing. Velda, you back off out of the room. Let uh, Shania do it. As you do that, you hear footsteps coming from the north. There's footsteps. Footsteps. Everyone. Uh, but you don't need to make perception now. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, Vilda, you turn and look up the corridor, and um, walking down the corridor um, towards you is a woman. Um, I back into the room. She the is. Others. Hold on. Oh. Uh, let's finish describing. <laughs> it's Wait. not enough. For, that's enough description for Velda. Woman, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> woman, I'm in. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a here. woman walking towards me. That's it. I'm done. I'm okay. out. Uh, she is. Um, she is about uh, five feet tall. Um, she is um, she is completely naked. Um, her hands end in long fingernails. Uh, she has lank uh -oh. black hair um, draped down uh, her face as she walks towards you. She's holding in one of her claws um, the f what looks like a, a large bird's foot. Oh. Um, and she has blood spattered um, across her. Um, she looks at you for a moment and sort of cocks her head to one side uh, and then opens her mouth to speak. Uh, as she does, her mouth splits into four and just opens out in four different uh, directions like a, like the Demogorgon from uh, Stranger Things. And she lets out a deafening shriek across the room and starts running towards you. And that is where we leave it for tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking Banshee! Welcome to Pathfinder, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. Loving it. Eaten by a naked lady. <laughs> <laughs> In the best, best traditions. <laughs> Hey, it's Brian. And it's Tony. From the Salty Language Podcast. Uh, we're a podcast with, with two friends that have, you know, been around each other for, what, like 70 years or something, and, uh, you know, we talk about kind of everything. We're like a married couple that you hate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically something like that. Um, no, we talk about, you know, just weird news, stuff that happens in our life, um, pop culture, really anything it's you know we just have a nice conversation and make up stuff along the way so uh yeah and i guess you know you can find us at saltylanguage.com for sure and i'm you'll be fine <laughs> well also you can find us on dangerentertainment.net dangerentertainment.net in case you missed it the first time <laughs> <laughs>